Hello guys, this is Dynasty Lobster, being kind of quiet since it's very, uh, very late at night. But, let's get into the video. Uh, you, yes I mean you, Ronan Patterson. You want to create a terraformed planet in Universe Sandbox 2. Well, I can tell you how. Your first step is to find a star. You can choose the sun. You can choose any star. It does not matter. As, okay, it does matter, but you know, as, as long as it, as long as the star is not super dim. So let's just take random known star. All right. Bam. You might be thinking, "Whoa, this is a blue giant. It's not gonna work." Well, here's the thing. It doesn't matter the size of the star. What you gotta do is if you view the habitable zone. What the? Wait a minute. What? Why can't I view the habitable zone of this star? Okay, uh. That's a glitch. Because I know it is possible. Alright. Oh, there we go. There. Now we have another star. See this star right here? You see the look of the habitable zone. You see how you have a green ring, a blue ring, and a red ring. Now the blue ring is far too cold for life. The red ring is far too warm for life. But you see the thing is, Earth is actually somewhere around here. It's somewhere in here where the uh, where the red and the green meet so it's definitely leaning towards the green for sure but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a random rocky planet and I'm going to place it approximately where Earth would be of course on this star it's much less than one astronomical unit if this were the Sun it would be the Sun would have it here but this star is less bright than the sun, so we're going to put it here. Alright. Alright. So first thing you're going to want to do to your planet. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to magnetic field that bitch. That is right you need a magnetosphere of just make it kinda large just don't make it large enough to encompass the star yeah that no that that's too much what no this is a visual glitch it's not actually that large okay uh, what w wait where am I Magnetosphere. Let's make that three thirty-three. You know, something something big. You don't want it to be like Earth's magnetosphere is like pretty much the size of this circle right here. But you know, if it's bigger than that, it's fine as long as the magnetosphere isn't like in the sun zone. All right. Next thing you're gonna want to do is. If you want the best results, you should set your mass to the size of Earth. Alright. Alright, gonna turn off magnetosphere being shown. Alright. Here's the thing. You want your planet's tilt to be on an axis that is similar to Earth. Sort of like around here. You know, just make, make your planet's tilt to a good place. Now what you're going to want to do is have your rotational period of one day. That's right. We're trying to, you know, recreate the conditions of Earth. Now we have the very hard part. The surface temperature. This is like really, really difficult because of this albedo slider. Thankfully, you can just make atmospheric pressure to one atmosphere, so the actual size of the atmosphere itself is not an issue.
But what is an issue is the uh, the temperature that can slowly rise and fall because the albedo effect is how reflective the planet is, how much the light actually gets bounced off. And we want our albedo to be at a point where the temperature is around 15, like anywhere from like 11 to 20 degrees is good. But like an average temperature of 35 degrees, that's not, that's not normal. Uh, See, the issue is we want it to be, want to have an albedo that, um, alright, we kind of have to speed up time quite a bit to be able to tell when the temperature is supposed to be rising or falling. We, we got it, we got to make, we got to make sure it hits a sweet spot. Okay, it's starting to hit a sweet spot of 10 degrees. Let's make it a little bit less reflective. Alright, 11 degrees. I'm going to aim for 14. Alright, that is perfect. That is pretty much perfect. Now we can slow down time because we don't need to simulate that quickly right now. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to turn off the habitable zone view because we already got that. Now what you, what you might want to do, well, what you got to do. Okay, your iron core, it should be around... You know what? It, the iron core is perfect. Alright, we have that. Now what you're going to want to do is add water. You don't want to add too much. You don't want to add too little. For me, I just eyeball it. Like, this is a good amount. You know what? I think it's perfect. Now here's the fun part. With the uh, Universe Sandbox release 20 or I think this was this was changed in alpha 19 where you can actually make custom colors to your planets it's actually something that I suggested um, yeah so I made it green to make it seem like there's life now what I'm gonna check is the likelihood of life earth similarity 99.4% life likelihood 91.2 percent so that my friend uh, Ronan Patterson that is how you terraform a planet in Universe Sandbox 2 have a nice night